Hi everybody, it's Kara, AKA the Principal Painter. And today, holidays are coming. They are right around the corner. I cannot believe it, but Diamond Art Club this week is releasing a special holiday collection for everyone to see and enjoy. And I have a sneak peek of one of those fun holiday pieces. It is none other than 12 Days of Christmas by our beloved artist, Anna Lynn. I'm so excited. I know the question of the day is, where do those six fairy dust diamonds go in that painting? I don't know. I'm going to find out right along with you. Let's head to the dining room table and we will find out. See you there. Right. We are at the painter dining room table. We are at the dining room table because this is a big kit. It is 12 Days of Christmas by Hannah Lynn. This one came out and people went nuts over it. Can they see it? All right. The big question on social media is this kit has one AB and six fairy dust uh, diamonds. Where do those six fairy dust go? We're going to find out. It is a square kit. Uh, you can tell from the blue striping and blue square. It comes in a very nice holographic box. I, I normally take the plastic off of these kits before I do unboxings for you, but I left the plastic on because I wanted everyone to know. I wanted to look so bad to see where these fairy dust diamonds go, but I didn't. I'm going to find out where they go right along with you. Uh, your box has a lot of features. Again, it's a beautiful, heavy-duty, oh, thank goodness for heavy-duty boxes. Um, holographic on the back, it's got kit contents, how it works, tips and tricks. On the side is a QR code to scan for 10% off. There are coupon codes everywhere. Use them, especially with this drop on Saturday. There are 25 coming out. I wanted the first one that came out. It was absolutely beautiful, and I thought the first one comes out, and I want it. The first one that came out on the, the pictures on social media. Am I missing anything? Yes, I'm missing the logbook sticker. Um, so yeah, um, we're all gonna be in trouble, I swear. Okay, so what you get in your kit, you get this logbook sticker, it's got the title of the artist, uh, the diamond shape, which is squared, is a square uh, kit. It is a 70 by 94, so this is gonna be a big one. Oh, this is so beautiful. Um, all 12 days of Christmas are noted in this painting. They are all represented in the painting. I'll show you where each one of them are. You get a nice toolkit. These are standard toolkits for Diamond Art Club. Let me show you what you get really quick. You get a nice recyclable bag, which is nice. You get a tray with a stopper that comes in and out to keep your drills in and from spilling out. You get a container of Diamond Art Club's famous heart-shaped wax. There are two pads of it in here. Um, there is plastic on the top and the bottom of these, yeah, of these waxes, so make sure you peel the plastic back or you will get no wax in your pen. I love this container. It helps keep your wax from drying out and there is more than enough to complete your project. You get, hang on, I'm gonna share what's the same and what's different. You get a bag of baggies for drill storage, either pre-kit or post-kit. You get two multi-placers. Your multi-placers go on the opposite end of your pen. On one end of your pen, you're gonna have a single placer. On the opposite end, you have a choice of a four-placer or a seven-placer. Multi-placers help you place more than one drill down if you have an area with a bunch of the same color, which is called color blocking. You can use your multi-placer, so you get two of those in every kit. Now, what's gonna be different in your kit? You're gonna get all of this in every single kit, but the differences are, your pen and your squishy are gonna be probably a different color than mine. Your squishy goes on your pen. I struggle with uh, I struggle with getting the squishy on. I have been lucky the last couple times, but not this time. But again, your pen and squishy color will differ from mine. You get a cover minder. When I unroll this big, beautiful canvas, there will be a plastic covering on the top of it that uh, protects the stickiness. The stickiness on the canvas adheres the drills to it but the plastic protects that from dog hair and gunk from getting on it. You peel that plastic back in a section that you're going to diamond paint. This cover minder has two magnets on it. You slide one of the magnets under your diamond painting. This beautiful cover minder, tulips, look how cute, goes on top. 
the magnets magnetize together and hold that plastic back so it's not flippy flopping around. Your cover minder will differ from mine. You get a roll of washi tape. The pattern on your washi tape is going to differ. Washi tape helps you section off your canvas if you want to make squares on your canvas to help it uh, be a little bit less daunting, especially one this size. Or, or you can put it around the perimeter, the outside. Um, sometimes the glue comes out a little bit from the pasting area. I've never had that problem with a diamond art club, but um, that's what you can use washi tape for. You can also use it for paper crafts, all kinds of stuff. You get a good bit of it. It is about the stickiness of painter's tape, a little bit lighter. And in square kits, meaning the diamond shape is square and square kits only, you get a pair of Diamond Art Club's branded tweezers. They are the pointy stabby kind. Keep the sheath on and do not poke your eyeball out for those of you that like to place uh, diamonds with tweezers. I typically use tweezers to kind of move my drills around if they, I place them crooked or what have you. All right, that is your toolkit, but you're ready to see this. Okay, guys. Look at me, I have my notes all ready for all of the items in the 12 days of Christmas. You would think I had, I've had, i sung that song enough that I have it memorized, but I wanna make sure that I'm accurate and we find every one of these 12 days of Christmas items. So that's what that is. All right, let me get this open. All of these paintings come in a beautiful sleeve that keeps your diamond painting protected, which is very, very nice. You can uh, reuse this. It is a branded uh, plastic, uh, plastic dust cover. You can reuse this to store your diamond painting in should you want to. I do not, but again, diamond painting is all up to you. You do what makes you comfortable and happy. These canvases are very buttery on the back. They are tarpaulin. Uh, they are poured glue, um, which makes them extremely pliable and uh, they are self-flattening. I am going to roll this back because A, it is very big, and B, I want it to flatten out so you can see all parts of this canvas and see all of those 12 days of Christmas items. You can roll it back if it's poured glue and zhuzh, zhuzh, zhuzh. Do not uh, do this if, it's, if the canvas uses any other type of glue but poured glue. I'm gonna let this hang in my lap for a second while I show you the other kit contents. When you unroll your canvas, your drills will come out. We will go over the drills. Uh, these are very nicely packaged. I mess them up every time. The bags of drills are labeled with the title of the canvas should you store your drills separately from your canvas so you can reunite them. You get a pamphlet, a thank you pamphlet from the founder of Diamond Art Club, Angie. You get tips and tricks, what's included. You get QR codes that take you to videos on how to's and the VIP Facebook group. If you haven't joined the VIP Facebook group, join it. That's where they're posting their pictures there and on Instagram of what is coming out in this 25 painting drop that is dropping. By the way, Kara, when is this drop? This is dropping on Saturday and it is usual drop protocol. So at nine o'clock Pacific, 11 o'clock Central, 12 o'clock Eastern, you will have your drop for Diamond and Ruby members. It, 30 minutes later at 9.30 Pacific, 11.30 Central, and 12.30 Eastern, that is when uh, it will, they will all release for general release. So, uh, and do not worry if you are not a Diamond or Ruby member, they do hold stock back. Uh, so everyone has an equal chance to get all of the beautiful kits. I've been watching the sneak peekers uh, do their thing with the other kits, and they are absolutely beautiful. Like I said, I was sold the first, uh, you know, the first one. Anyway, step-by-step -step instructions. Thank you, 10. Here's another coupon code, and on the back, two QR codes, one for an Apple, one for an Android, to take you to the Diamond Art Club app. Um, if you uh, have not downloaded that app and purchased from the app for the very first time, whether you're a new or existing customer, you get 20% off your first purchase through the app. Good pamphlet to have. Here is your sticker sheet. We have 61 colors in this beauty. Look at her. She is holding one of the three French hens, I can tell you right now. I have looked at this picture um, very, very well, and every single one of the 12 days of Christmas is represented in this painting. You got your title, this entire thing is a sticker sheet. These are individual stickers that you can peel off, put on your containers. You have your title, 12 days of Christmas by Hannah Lynn. You can put your start and end date, a bigger picture of that image that is absolutely gorgeous. I love Hannah Lynn and her art. Oh, I'm just so excited. All right. 
Uh, the diamond shape is square, the dimension 70 by 94, and there's a SKU number to your canvas. So that is very helpful to have. Now, when you're looking at these individual stickers, like I said, you can peel them off individually, stick them on your containers. The first column in pink tells you how many colors you're gonna have. That's how I know I have 61 colors here. The center column are your symbols. That's what you're gonna match your drills up with to put them down on your canvas. The third column tells you some things. That is the DMC, uh, those, excuse me, those are the DMC codes uh, that help you know what colors you're working with. And it also tells you a couple of interesting things. The first thing, if the DMC code is under the number 150, it is what is called an AB drill. I will tell you what an AB is momentarily. You have one AB drill in this kit. It is 141, it's that very popular DAC white that absolutely captures all of the colors. AB stands for Aurora Borealis, it's like the Aurora Borealis lights. But when you come down, can they see this? When you come down to the bottom of this sticker sheet, you can count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. And if you look, these fairy dust drills, I don't have any black fairy dust, okay? If that answers some of your questions, okay? So any numbers with a Z code in front of them are going to be that fairy dust, but I can't wait to see where these fairy dust drills go. These are going to be absolutely beautiful, and I'll explain what a fairy dust drill is as well. All right. So here we go. Are you ready? Are you ready for this big, beautiful, oh my gosh. This is like the size of off to the ball. Remember that one? Oh my gosh. Normally Hannah Lynn's are like a 40 by 60. This is a big one. If you are ready for a big Christmas project. You know what I thought about when I looked at this the first time? This would be so fun to have in your house at Christmas and let the kids find all of the 12 days items, okay? And we will go over that. Um, have you guys looked and have you guys found all of the 12 days items? Some of them are kind of camouflaged, so you had to really look to find out where everything is. For example, there's your partridge in a pear tree and here are your three French hens. But there are some other things going on in this background that show you where those 12 days of Christmas items are. Tour of the canvas. You have, uh, it's branded at the top. I'm gonna pull this down. I will have Marlon take the camera off the tripod so you can see this entire canvas at the end. It is branded, do what makes you sparkle, Diamond Art Club. Your schematics, again, on the top left and bottom right. When you get down to the bottom of this canvas, to your left, you have a, a thumbnail of the image. You have the 12 days of Christmas, or 12 days of Christmas, that's the title, uh, the dimensions, and Hannah Lynn. Is Hannah Lynn legally licensed through Diamond Art Club? Absolutely she is. That means Diamond, Diamond Art Club has paid Hannah Lynn for her work and she has given permission for her art to be used. We need to support our artists and only purchase legally licensed work. In the middle is Diamond Art Club's social media information. When you are progressing on these paintings, on any painting from Diamond Art Club, they love for you to tag them in social media and show them your progress. Um, you know, again, they work really hard producing these wonderful works of art for us and they love to see what we do with them. So um, make sure you tag them on social media. And in the bottom right, you have a 100% lifetime warranty, meaning if anything happens to your, or goes wrong with your canvas or drills, Diamond Art Club will make it right. All right, oh my gosh, she is beautiful. I am so excited for this canvas. I love her. I love her little flowing hair. Oh my gosh, her hair color kind of is in the spirit of Ice Princess. I know a lot about Hannah Lynn. I know enough to be dangerous. Okay, so what I am going to do now is I am going to flip this canvas over and we're gonna look at the drills and then we're gonna come back. I'm gonna show you where those fairy dust and AB drills go and then we're gonna find all 12 items in this canvas for the 12 days of Christmas. All right, have you found them all? Have you found them all yet? <laughs> all right, here we go. Wow, I am not used to a Hannah Lynn being this big. Um, maybe you can see a little bit in the background. I am working on Irish Christmas Bay right now, and you know, she's a little bit smaller, but I'm loving working on her. I love working on Hannah Lynn's. 
I would say Hannah Lynn was one of my first diamond art clubs I ever worked on. And it's like, it's like coming home to me to work on a Hannah Lynn. All right. Short little train. Here we go. But we've got an AB and we've got a fairy dust. This is 141. Ding, ding, ding. Ring your first AB bell. Kara, what is an AB drill? AB stands for Aurora Borealis. It is a special coating put on these drills that capture facets of light and color from the environment and the drills around them and just make them all together now. Shim, shim, shimmy, shimmer. Just a little bit more. All right, and then you've got 945, which is a flesh tone that may go in her face or her arms. Then we have our first fairy dust drill. This is yellow. It is very, very hard to see. So you have got your AB. Your AB is more glints of sparkle. Um, I always equate it to like a gold leaf. You know how you put gold leaf down or you've seen things with gold leaf in it. It's a glint, okay? Fairy dust, it looks like there is a fine, fine dusting of mica powder or glitter on the tops of these drills. Another feature that I love about fairy dust drills, and it kind of makes it harder to see on camera, is the fairy dust or the glitter put on the tops of these drills is the same color as the drill, so it is a very, very subtle shine, but it is there most definitely. So those are our first three colors. Let's get into these trains, shall we? Woo, 154. We are gonna be living in a dark maroon world. There are five bags of that. 6.99, two bags, 3.19, four, 4.15, 4.33, 1.62. Here is our next. Okay, these are interesting, interesting fairy dust drills. These are more nature colored. Can you get them in super close? Maybe they can see that. It is so hard with these fairy dust to, to capture that, um, that coloring uh, or the glitter on the tops of the drills. You can kind of see them up here in the top, okay? So that's your second fairy dust, 959. Three bags of it, 820. Here's your next fairy dust. Again, all of these natural colors. I have not worked with this many natural fairy dust colors. This is going to be absolutely beautiful. There are a lot of browns and coppers in this particular painting. So this is Z782. There's your third fairy dust. 902, two bags of it, and 890. Okay, so what I am going to do so that I can show you, because there are so many of these fairy dust drills, is I am cutting out the fairy dust and AB drill so that when I flip this over, I can show you so they do not get lost in the mix. Here is one. Thank you for hanging on with me, but I want to be able to show you. A lot of these fairy dust also are so close in color that I don't, don't want to miss one. All right, 310. You knew it was a Hannah Lynn, and it is a big one. You are going to have a lot of 310. Count them with me. Two, four, six, eight, nine bags of 310. However, in a Hannah Lynn, if you don't have 310, those colors are not going to pop, so you need this 310. Um, and, it, you know, it's so funny because you look at this, these bags of 310, and it looks kind of, oh, my gosh, there's going to be so much black. There's really not, but when you outline a Hannah Lynn, it is, it is very satisfying. When I outline in my Hannah Lynn's, for those of you that have done a Hannah Lynn, do you outline first or do you put your color down and then outline it? Brandy, my bestie Brandy and I do it the same way. We outline everything in black and then we color it in just as a little treat for dealing with all the black. So anyway, just little techniques and tips and tricks there. Um, do what makes you happy. 890, 3849, 762, 797. That's one of my favorite colors. 498, two bags of it. Here we go. We have two bags of Z744. That is your next fairy dust. It is a very nice cream color. These are some colors in these fairy dust that I have not worked with before. You have got 161, a dusty, dusty lavender, and 817, two bags of it. All right, moving on down the road. All right, 
right, 3865, a nice, well, it's a light, light cream. 318, a gray, 159, a lavender, 3730, 704, 741, beautiful. Here is your next fairy dust. Okay, so you've got several different shades of yellow in these fairy dust drills. All right, that's going over there. Where did I end up? Here we go. 798, 828, 995, 898, 300, 434. Ooh, that's a pretty blue, 3845. Here is your next fairy dust. Oh my gosh, all of these tans and yellows. Are you guys surprised? I'm kind of surprised, this is interesting. All right, 701, 722, and three, excuse me, 938. I can read colors, this is like a dark chocolate brown. All right, last train to Georgia. Thanks for sticking with me. These are the babies. And they are upside down. Like I always say, it wouldn't be a Kara video without some upside downs going on. 742, 721, 3756, 799, 760, 913, 435, 739, 414, 823, 3799, it's a really dark olive green. 702, 3848, can they see all these as they're parading by? 738, 436, 3823, I had to look twice at this. These drills are so shiny, I have to look. Are those fairy dust, are they ABs? Nope, but they're just super shiny drills. 761, a pink, ooh, look at that orange. 740, 3341, and 335. Some beautiful colors in this one, guys. Okay, so what are you guys thinking about these fairy dust drills? They, oh wow, okay. I'm going to keep these to the side. We're gonna turn this over and we're gonna see where all of these fairy dust and the one AB goes. I know already where this AB is gonna go. Let's start with your AB drill, which is your white, 141. All right. It is the symbol one on this canvas. All of these little specks in her dress, they're all one. So those are gonna be where your fairy dust is. Now, there are there's some highlighting in this, this goose and the eggs. Um, that is not um, AB, uh, but the ones are gonna be your AB. Where else are we gonna have that AB? Again, all the little specks throughout her skirt, like there's snow falling. Okay, now, all of the snow falling in the sky is not going to be the AB. However, yep, um, there are symbols, one, some of them in the sky. Like there are groupings of four that are your one AB, some one AB here, here, um, all of the little white specks kind of close to her face are going to be that AB, okay? Um, any in her hair? I don't see any in her hair. She's got a couple in each eye. She's got four in this eye, two in this eye. That's going to be that AB. Um, any in? I don't see any in the snow on the trees. Um, there is some up here in these snowflakes. That's gonna be that AB, that white AB up there. Can they see it? You can lift it out a little. Oh, sorry, now can yeah. they see it? These snowflakes right here are all gonna be those ABs. Um, the snowflakes on the leaves and the pear tree are going to be that white AB. So that is, that is your one and only AB drill. Okay. Next, we're gonna get down to the bottom here and look at where these fairy dust go. The first one is Z728. It is the symbol R. Z728, that's 83, 82. Here we go. All right, again, what symbol am I looking for? I'm looking for the symbol R, which is that fairy dust. Okay. There is going to be fairy dust highlighting some of these bows going to highlight. Uh, it's going to highlight uh, some of this dancer's hair. It's going to highlight um, this kind of the circle that's kind of framing these characters from the 12 days of Christmas. Um, there's some twos in here. 
Um, let's see, excuse me, some R's in here. I'm looking for R. Okay, R in her, um, the maid a milking. Okay, I'm giving you some hints on these 12 days of Christmas characters. The maid a milking has a scarf on. The R is uh, kind of making up that scarf. Uh, R's highlighting the bows. Are there any R's in the three French hens? I'm looking. Doesn't it make you want to break out into song? The 12 Days of Christmas is one of those songs that once you start singing it, it just sticks with you. There are R's in the pears, in the pear tree. Um, where else do I see that R? Oh, there are R's in her eyes, definitely. Several in her eyes. Okay, so that's where that R is going to go. All right, the next one is Z743. Where's that one? That's another, okay. Here is Z743, so again, it's another creamy, creamy yellow. That is going to be um, a right, a carrot going to the right, or kind of a right arrowhead. Okay, in this bow, it's highlighting this bow. So that's this color. Um, I keep looking in these French hens. I'm wondering if there are any in these French hens. I'm not seeing them. Okay, here we go. The five golden rings. I'm giving away some of these, some of these items in the 12 days of Christmas. The five golden rings held by the two turtle doves. All of the rings and the five golden rings are all made up of this fairy dust drill. Looking at the stars and the tree. Okay, the highlighting on these Christmas trees is all that sideways, right facing carrot. Um, anywhere else? I don't see it anywhere else. All right, so that's where you're gonna get this. A little bit of highlighting in that bow as well. Okay, there's a lot to take in. I'm sorry this is taking a little bit longer, but there's a lot to take in. Z744, that is where you've got two big bags of it. It is a creamy yellow. That symbol is a corner with a dot in it. So um, that's gonna be in your French hens, highlighting your French hens all over the place in these French hens. That's why you have so much of it. You have some in the, these characters from the 12 days of Christmas are kind of framed in circles. So the outer part of the circle has it in there. Okay, so uh, I'm more highlighting on these bows. It's gonna have that in there. Um, the, let me see, highlighting in, some, in the bow here. Uh, but yeah, the French hen's got all the love on that particular fairy dust drill. Um, there is a fairy dust drill in the star up here. Um, I'm wanting to see something really quickly. Nope, that's not a fair. Okay, so um, the inner parts of the, the star on the top of the Christmas tree, that's going to be that particular fairy dust. And here, I don't see any more. Okay, moving along. We have Z780. That is the symbol zero. That is going to be your darkest fairy dust. Okay, that's going to be that caramely brown color. That one is W. The bows are going to get a lot of love with this fairy dust because you've got three, uh, so far I'm counting three different fairy dust drills in these bows. I'm looking for the symbol W. The rings surrounding the 12 days characters are going to get a lot of fairy dust love. There's some W's in the rings on all these characters. There are W's in this bow for the pear tree. Um, looking in the French hens. The French hens got one, one um, fairy dust. The French hens got that Z744 all over the place. Um, any more W? I'm trying to think. In the pear tree. I'm looking, looking. There's some W's in the pears in the pear tree up here and here. Uh, sorry these pear tree these pears in the pear tree there's w's in these okay that is i believe all of the 780 all right 782 is the symbol a again a light light kind of like it's a caramel color okay and that is the symbol a 
more A's in these rings. These rings are gonna have all kinds of fairy dust. There are A's in these bows on her skirt. Are there any, there are A's down here. Um, I'm wanting, what is that? Um, that looks to be the sash on her dress or the bow. There's some A's there. Um, are there A's in the French hens? I don't see any. Uh, where else do I see A? There's some A's in the bow on the pear tree. There are A's in the pears. Okay, the pears are gonna get a lot of fairy dust love. Love that. Um, any other A's? Uh, again, I'm sorry, it's taking me a little bit longer, but this is a really bigger piece. There's a pear way up here with A's in it. And I believe those are all of your A's. And your final fairy dust drill is the symbol N. It is Z783. You can see, I'm gonna hold these up together so you can see the differences in the colors of these fairy dust. It's subtle, but it's there, okay? So we're looking for Z783, which is the symbol N. All right, again, N's in the, oh my gosh, N's in these uh, rings, N's in the bows. Um, wanting to find some more N's in these French hens. There's some N's in her bow and her sash. Where else? ends in the bow. These bows are going to have all kinds of dimension and depth and sparkle and shine with all of those fairy dust drills uh, coming together in those. There are ends in the pears in the pear tree. Man, the pear tree is getting a lot of love with these fairy dust diamonds too. Okay, anywhere else? I don't see anywhere else. I'm looking. Nope, nowhere else do I see. Okay, so that is where all of our ABs and fairy dust drills go. Now, as I end this video, okay, well, before I do, let me do this. Let me pull this back so you can see this drill field. And I will talk to you, um, this is a very sticky canvas. Can you get them into the drill field so they can see? People were like, oh my gosh, this is gonna be so big. I bet it's gonna have a lot of confetti. There. There's some confetti, but this is not crazy confetti at all that I see. Um, I'm working on one now that it is crazy confetti. This is not, it is respectable. There is some, but when I'm talking confetti on this piece, I'm looking at two or three different colors, not seven or eight. So um, that is totally doable. And you've got to have some confetti, especially in a piece this big, to pull out the detail, okay? These are absolutely beautiful canvases. Okay, so what I was thinking is when I do this, and I, um, you could have it up in your home, when kids come over, all the kids know the 12 Days of Christmas song, right? So what you could do is you could actually play a little game with them, with this canvas, play a Where's Waldo game, and have them find all of the 12 days of Christmas. So that's what I'm gonna do with you right now, just in case people are like, well, there's not this one there and there's not this one there. They're all there, I promise. Okay, are you ready? Here is the drummer. Can they see this? Here's the drummer for the 12 drummers drumming. Yes, they can see it? Okay. 11 pipers piping. He's up here. Look at this little guy hidden behind her skirt. There's the piper piping. Lord's a leaping. That's this one. He's leaping, right? Here, there he is leaping. Nine ladies dancing. There's the lady dancing. Eight maids a milking. There's the maids a milking. Seven swans a swimming. Are you singing the song? There you go. Six geese a laying. There's that one. Oh, I'm sorry. Hang on. These are the seven swans of swimming. I don't think there are seven of them there, but you get the gist. No, there are. Oh my gosh, they even got the number. One, two, three, four, five, six, and there's a little part of one sticking out right there. Seven swans of swimming. Here's the six geese a laying, okay, in the skirt. This is so cool to find. Five golden rings. There you go. Five golden rings that are in between. Okay, I'm, I'm going to come back to this. So there are the five golden rings. Four calling birds. Here are the four calling birds. They're behind her skirt. One, two, three, four. They're calling. Food, food. Three French hens. She's holding one of the French hens. They are the other two. They have their berets on. 
Parlez vous français? Two turtle doves. There are the turtle doves. They're holding the five golden rings and a partridge in a pear tree. There you go, right there. So all of the 12 days of Christmas elements are in this painting. I absolutely love it. She is beautiful. I think this would be a great interactive piece with kids uh, to do um, a classic, classic Hannah Lynn. And I am so excited I got to show this to you. Thank you so much, Diamond Art Club, for sending this out to me. What a fun piece for Christmas and uh, one to get your family involved with to find all of the elements of the 12 days of Christmas. All right, guys. Happy shopping on Saturday. You sure have a lot to pick from. I wish you the best of luck. I'm wishing myself the best of luck. This is gonna be such a fun uh, launch of these holiday uh, paintings. Go watch my counterparts. They also have sneak peeks of some of the other ones. I will also be coming back at some point with maybe another one, you never know. So uh, until I come back, I'll leave you with this. In a world where you can be anything, wait, Marlon, can you pan them over one more time? Please, 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 please pan them over one more time. I promised you'd do this so you can see the whole thing. Look at all of those elements in this. I love this. Love it, love it. And she's just loving on that little French hen. Okay. That's what we've got for you. Now, I'll leave you with this. In a world where you can be anything, be kind. This is the Principal Painter, and I am signing off.